Next week is National Infertility Awareness Week. And did you know that as many as one in six couples will struggle with getting pregnant? There are medical advancements out there, but it's also important to think about the emotional struggle that goes hand in hand with this journey. A local mom tells us a support group program at the Center for Advanced Reproductive Services at UConn really helped her. Carrie Lloyd is the proud mom of these beautiful twins, Jacob and Ariana. But there was a time she worried that her dream of becoming a mom might not ever come true. Once I became diagnosed with a condition that made it challenging for us to get pregnant, um, that in and of itself was a really frustrating and heartbreaking moment for me. Um, that made me feel pretty isolated. Carrie found help here at the Yukon Center for Advanced Reproductive Services. Beyond the medical treatments she would undergo, she found strength in a support group for people struggling with infertility. This, this group of people became kind of my tribe. Um, so every time that I went to go and meet with them, I knew that this was a place where they weren't gonna judge me, that they were gonna offer true support, um, and they also had their own knowledge base to be able to help explain to me some of the things that I might not have quite understood when meeting with my doctors or what my options might be. Kate Weldon LeBlanc is the executive director of Resolve New England, a nonprofit organization focused on providing emotional support, education, and advocacy for people struggling to become parents. It's thought that one in eight women will go through infertility and actually when you look at the full scope of infertility we think it's actually one in six couples really will go through infertility because I think there's also a misconception that it's women only uh, but certainly about a third of all infertility diagnoses are focused on male factor infertility. That's why here at the center they have monthly resolve support groups. Anyone can just drop in. Ami Chakshi works at the center and also facilitates resolve groups. They feel like they're human, that it's not their fault, they're not to blame, they're not alone. Um, you can go through stressful times with other people and seek, and seek community around it. A community that's growing in part because of social media and the sharing generation. Just the fact that there's a national week focused on people that are struggling to build their family I think is huge. You definitely see a huge uptick during that this week of uh, people posting about their own experiences. Sharing is what happens in the Resolve groups every third Thursday of the month here at the center. It's mostly women who attend, but when men drop in, that can help the couple. And they also get to see that you know, what their wives or what their partners are going through is not uncommon. And, you know, sometimes going through infertility is like having a part-time job, second part-time job, and the men realize that, oh, wait a second, this is okay, this is normal, we're not crazy. Sometimes the ups and downs can make you feel like you're going crazy. Though Carrie is over the moon with her two blessings now, she remembers the roller coaster of emotions. When she first tried IVF, she got pregnant right away. I had shared with my best friend who was there that weekend and told my husband I had gotten a cute little onesie to tell him that we were pregnant. Sadly, about a week later, she miscarried. So she tried IVF a second time. And that cycle didn't take at all. Uh, so yet another frustrating moment. Um, feeling pretty defeated at that point in time, again, uh, relied on the group to help process some of those feelings. The Resolve group helped her stay hopeful, and the hope led to the happiness she has today with her babies. Look here, they're holding a picture of themselves when they were just embryos. Third time's the charm? Third time was the charm, so we decided to increase our odds that time, and um, we transferred two embryos. and. Um, lo and behold, both decided to stick around and continue to grow into two amazing little human beings that are now here with us. Jake and Ari were born healthy as full-term babies, and they're now 18 months old. And the Lloyd family is so happy they had the resolve to keep trying to become parents. They are so um, active and mobile and they are picking up lots of language and learning all sorts of amazing things every day. Um, it's wonderful.
two little cutie patooties. They're so cute. Uh, but the folks at Resolve tell me that struggling parents are actually lucky to live here in Connecticut because our law requires insurance companies to pay for fertility treatments. Plus, Connecticut became the first state in the nation to pass what's known as Melissa's Law, which requires insurance to cover fertility preservation, mm. like freezing eggs or sperm prior to medical procedures that could impair fertility, like cancer treatments. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So to learn more about Resolve, it's a great resource. You can go to Resolve New England. Dot org. All right, and to celebrate National Infertility Awareness Week, the team at the Center for Advanced Reproductive Services, or CARS, will be having many events, including acupuncture, support groups, and even a behind-the-scenes tour of the lab there. For more information, you can go to their website for a schedule of events. It's yukonfertility.com.